starting another reading vlog because I think practice makes perfect. Hi, I'm Jane at Twofold Books and I usually have more than one perspective or answer. Like today with this vlog, I'm not sure if I'm gonna wrap up at the end of the weekend or when I finish all the books. So this one's about volume. I've got a pile of books here. I confess I started last night and then I meant to film first thing in this morning and I just took a PTO from adulting day. I had a half day of pajama time. It was great. But what I started reading last night was All the Crooked Saints by Maggie Stiefeter, which is one of the books that I bought at my birthday. and. I thought it might help me with, I'm not really in a reading slump, but I kind of thought I might turn that way based on all the things that are going on for me and sort of the stress that makes me want to hide from my life again. So I don't know that much. I didn't know really anything going in except that I like Maggie Stiefeter, but I will do like a quarter mark update when I get there. The other book I started this morning is Sweet and Sour Milk. This book is from Somalia, I believe in the 1960s? It was published in 79. So like my last African no novel, this one is also the first in a three-part series. The back says, Sweet and Sour Milk, the first novel in the trilogy, chronicles a man's search for the reasons behind his twin brother's violent death during the 1970s. The atmosphere of political tyranny and repression reduces his quest to a passive and fatalistic level, and the book progresses largely on an inner plane. So have a look at this. It's got a textbooky weight. It's got a textbooky library binding. It's got a textbooky feel on the inside. Like this gray line just takes me to like academic library copy. So I'm a little intimidated by this. I usually quarter my books and aim for quarter marks. But I seventh to this one. This morning I did actually read the page goal for today and it wasn't it wasn't too bad. It, it wasn't like reading Gabriel Garcia Marquez or anything, but it wasn't super easy either. So if if there's days when I can get a little ahead, I will, but I like having this you know mark demarcation of what it takes each day to read it soon. The reason I'm pushing myself through this one is because it's a library book. I've got to return it in two weeks and I have another book that I'd like to return so really I'd like to finish this in a week. Reading the seventh was actually only two chapters. It was the prologue so that character that's, that you know is dead from the back of the book. The prologue is his death and he's actually there and you get to hear him thinking. And then chapter one is from his twin brother's perspective and is sort of just getting into it, um, looking at the funeral and the funeral attendees. My third library book that I have to turn in in a couple weeks is Despero by Kate de Camillo in Spanish. I'm trying to read a children's book in Spanish to acclimate myself to not just using Spanish in the lessons of Duolingo or the stories that they have, but to really challenge myself to read and absorb something, which I think I can handle a middle grade novel, but I am also reading this to help me along and using this notebook to track the vocabulary I want to look up so I don't have to interrupt every other sentence to do it. And then the last book for this vlog is Paper Girls Volume 2, which I am really excited to read. And fortunately, I own this and Volume 1, so if I'm like, hold on a minute, what happened? Remind me of that, I'll be able to go look that up. But Paper Girls Volume 2 is where I'm going to start right now. I do really love graphic novels and comics. 
as books. I love art. I love seeing how art and story interact. I love how it is cinematic, but at the same time very different from the media and the medium of film. And and similarly to how All the Crooked Saints is to help me not have a slump, being able to read a graphic novel pretty quickly today and be like, check, did it, did it, will help me feel like I've accomplished a lot this weekend, even though so far I really haven't. So that was pretty quick. I finished Paper Girls. My favorite parts, well there was one moment that made me tear up and then I loved the tardy grades. And then I loved this page. I would have a poster of that. That is so cool. But if you don't know, Paper Girls is a comic or graphic novel series about um, a group of young girls who deliver papers and end up in a time travel adventure. I think this is the best time travel adventure I've encountered since the TV version of 12 Monkeys in terms of just being gripping and being um, real time travel and having oops loops and reflecting on itself. The other book that I am reading right now that I forgot to mention is Swamplandia by Karen Russell. I'm doing that as an audiobook and I think I'm going to switch to that right now so that I can do some of my chores this weekend and, you know, laundry, go for a walk, a couple other things around the house. I did a lot today. I read another quarter of Swamplandia, so now I'm about 75% of the way through. It's getting a little dark. It's an interesting book, but it's getting a little dark. Anyway, I'll probably finish it tomorrow during some things. Um, and I have about six pages left of this one. But it's hard, man. I have to look up so many words on every page. It's, it's homework. I'm not in school. It's not really homework. Learning interesting words, though. I'm gonna try to keep reading that tonight and hopefully I make it to my mark. Well, I haven't got that much reading done yet today. I'm working the very messy bun because I woke up and thought I was gonna get going and started reading Sweet and Sour Milk and quickly fell back asleep. So I took a nap right after getting up. I'm low-key concerned that I might be getting a cold or something. I had just been so tired and my eyes feel just, there's just that congestion feeling in my face and soreness in my eyes. And I, it would make sense. I'm not the kind of person who gets sick when the whole office has a cold, when there's something going around. I get sick when I breathe cold air and when I'm under stress. So that's what my immune system can't handle, which makes sense right now. I've got a big move, I've got a transition at work, and my cat is sick on top of that. Um, it was pointed out to me recently that I am losing my safe space, and thinking more on that, I won't have a new one until maybe June. Maybe June my house will not be a construction site. So I hope I'm not getting sick, but I will have to figure out how to be gentle on myself if I am. Anyway, I did make it to the quarter mark of All the Crooked Saints. I love Maggie Stevedor, and so far this has not been a disappointment. It was a really gentle quarter of the book. Not much has happened, but there's so much character development, so much history so much description of the space that they're in and the 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 rules of how um, in this book the, there's saints and miracles and I feel like by a quarter of the way and I know what 
the crooked saint means which is kind of nice I'm expecting a twist and I think I may kind of know what it is but I could be totally off I read about a chapter of sweet and sour milk before I fell asleep so I have two to go for today it's kind of action-packed but because it was written in 1979 it has a and because it was translated probably it has a different writing style that's just not as fast to go through and like I said it has this textbook feel so even just holding this book I'm a little intimidated by it I feel like I'm not equal to such a literary master but I am enjoying it and I didn't hit my page goal for Despero last night but I am getting a little better with the vocabulary I've got five pages started the sixth page of new vocab words and that's been helpful I like some of them are words that you would really only learn or talk about with little mice like um agujer a gullerito, a little hole in you know in the walls for the little mice or um, slipping on the wax floors things that are gonna come up again uh, or this little mouse is sneezy so I got sneeze and handkerchief and so I will there will probably be lots of words as I go through but I might hit a critical mass where I don't need to look up so many words and also I don't entirely know the words but it's kind of like learning Spanish through immersion because I'll I'll only stop and write down vocab words or look things up if I can't get it by context if I don't get the gist of it I might also go back and catch a word that I didn't know exactly even though I'm like it has to do it has to do with little mouse skills like sneak there was like sneaking I didn't know what that word was but as I read the whole sentence I understood the context of what the little mice were doing so I think that's where I'm gonna start right now I'm going out for a walk with a friend a little bit later and so I just have I don't know maybe an hour to do a little bit more reading and then I will go out and do some errands on the way home and read more later this evening. Finally made it to the halfway point of all the Crooked Saints and I think I'm gonna keep doing this vlog until I finish this book though I'm gonna still try to read the page marks I have for Despero and Sweet and Sour Milk. I don't know I couldn't finish as much this weekend as I anticipated my eyes were way bigger than my stomach which is good I think getting in excited is good anyway I have a lot of things to start doing for packing and moving this week so I will try to finish this tonight or tomorrow and and then the rest of the week will be a lot of audiobook time while I'm packing while I'm doing other things which I think is possible because I'm doing a live stream later so I can probably read a lot at some point. I got a lot done during streaming tonight and I hit an interesting point. So I am halfway through all the Crooked Saints, a quarter of the way through Despero, and very nearly halfway through Sweet and Sour Milk. All the Crooked Saints is got a really gentle slow feeling but it is starting to pick up and I'm really liking how the characters are starting to interact with each other. It's definitely a Maggie Stevedore book. I think for many of us the height of Maggie Stevedore is either the Raven Boy cycle or the Scorpio races and this is not as compelling I don't have that I've got a binge it feeling but it is definitely a satisfying Maggie Stevedore read and Despero is also starting to get interesting and what's really interesting about my read is that I am starting to need to look up fewer words in order to keep reading I'm still writing down all the vocabulary words that I don't know and I'll and I'll catch them up but I was able to read almost the whole 16 pages today without I had to stop once in order to look up what ended up being the uh, 
smell of celery. Olor a apio. Another very cool Spanish word I have learned is the word for dungeons. Mazmoras. So I'm just going to keep reading a little bit of All the Crooked Saints tonight and read myself to sleep and pick it up again tomorrow. Um, hopefully I can finish this one tomorrow. And I finished Swamplandia, so that's one more done. Ah! So as I was editing, I discovered that I lost some footage. I lost the wrap up to this video. It's now been over a month since I started and I could just quit the thing, but I have a need for a sense of completion. The upside is I've finished all the books, so I can say something about each of them. Something I've never done on my channel is talk about how I give ratings, so let me do that real quick. Any book really starts out at three stars for me, that's average, and then gains or loses stars depending on my experience. So a three star rating for me is just really solidly like, it was a book, book, book. It's a good rating. There's nothing wrong with being a three in my opinion. I would give a four something that I had an emotional connection to or I felt expanded my mind and I just wanted to tell people about. And I would give a five sparingly, sparingly to things I kind of could obsess about or want to tell everyone or maybe even that book hanger of a feeling where like that was so good. How could I read anything else right now? That's going to be a five stars. And then to get to a two or a one, a two I would say is a book that is not a solid book, book, book. Like I want some of my life back after reading that, but it doesn't, it hasn't earned my loathing. And a one is like, this book should never have been written. The author needs to be told why. And potentially something in it really offended me. That, that's what gets my ire in a one. We have none of those today in order. The first book I finished was Paper Girls Volume 2. That was just in the first day. So Paper Girls, I did give five stars. I feel like I'm going to feel that way about the whole series. The next book I finished was Swamplandia. It was my audiobook that I'd already started when I started that reading vlog and I was a little bit worried all the way through because, well honestly I think it should come with content warnings. It definitely needs to come with content warnings for sexual assault and I'm not sure if that book would do as well if it came out today. I think when it came out was before Me Too and our conversations about content warnings and representation of sexual assault in books and media and literature. I think we had a different set of expectations. So I don't think there's anything wrong with what's in the book, but I don't think that part of it aged very well. The rest of the book is really an interesting family story about this family who, you know, owns an alligator wrestling company on an island in the swamp and sort of each of them figuring out if they want to and how to live in the rest of the world and not just at the amusement park, Swamplandia. And that dangerous experience is an important part of the story. But again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend the book because that's in there. So that got a three. The next book I finished was All the Crooked Saints and I had decided that's when I was going to stop doing the vlog. So I did and the next day I reviewed it and I don't remember exactly what I said. I ended up giving the book four stars. It was a good solid book. It was Maggie Stiefvater. There were things I loved about it but it didn't have that obsession, I need a sequel, I need to read this again feeling. So it didn't get all the way to five stars. I did end up feeling okay about some of the representation. There was a lot of magical things happening in the story, but some of them tread a little close to real disability experiences. And that was concerning for me. I really am not a fan of disability as metaphor or disability as tragedy in a narrative. So I was 
a little bit concerned about how that would play out, but in the end I ended up feeling okay with it. And again, because those characters were surrounded by other magical experiences, it really didn't end up feeling like intentionally disability as metaphor, just maybe a little incautious. That is a book for sure that if you have read and have thoughts and comments, I would love to hear what other people think about all the Crooked Saints. The next two books I did not finish within the week. I did end up finishing my remaining three library books before my move date and one of them never made it to the vlog because I started it after I finished all the Crooked Saints. That book was Out of Darkness Shining Light by Patina Gappa and I'll include that in a different African author update video. And then the other two were Despero and Sweet and Sour Milk. So I ended up finishing all three of those books really in just the last day or days before the move. And how I ended up having to do that, my mother flew out to help me move. She was vaccinated and she was safe to travel. I was not vaccinated, so it was nice to have her to do our hotel check-ins and our gas station stuff during the drive. Back to the books. She came out to help me move and she expressed being a little uncomfortable packing other people's things. And I was like, okay, you know what I really need you to do? I need you to sit with me wherever I'm packing the last few boxes and read me my library books so I can finish them before we go. So she ended up finishing out reading to me both Out of Darkness, Shining Light, and Sweet and Sour Milk. I'm pretty sure my memory's failing me. Maybe I did Sweet and Sour Milk on my own, but just like a day before she arrived? I don't think so. I think she helped with both. And then because Despero was in Spanish, there were a couple moments I was reading it out loud to her and she just fell asleep. But I did finish that one on my own. It was a rush at the end. It was really cool. By the end, I wasn't looking up words at all. And I know I was missing a few things, but I just felt like I was on a roll and I really did understand the book. So here's points to that as a way to learn a language. I ended up giving Despero three stars and I ended up giving Sweet and Sour Milk three stars. Again, those are really solid book book books and if I was younger maybe I would have given Despero a higher rating. Middle grade's just not really my thing these days and Sweet and Sour Milk I ended up giving three stars instead of more because it didn't compel me to read the sequel and I think that that is telling about a book that is the first in a series. I did like it, maybe in my life I'll be curious to know what happens, but right now thinking about the main character trying to figure out who killed his brother, I'm just kind of like... And so we finished the last books together, I think it was like Saturday she read the end of a book to me, Sunday she read the end of a book to me, Sunday night at bedtime I ended up finishing Despero, and then Monday morning before we packed the truck I drove out to the library to return the books for the last time. There you have it. I think reading vlogs are still something I gotta work on. I don't feel like I've perfected the art. Let me know if you have any tips. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.